Good morning, YouTube. So, I have had a crazy week. Have y'all had a crazy week? Um, this video is just going to be a little ramble, and um, I wanted, there's a book I want to show you that I'm reading, and a tarot deck, a thrift store haul, some love mail. It's just going to be like a little mix-up, and I hope it doesn't get too lengthy. If it does, I'll make one of those a separate video. But, um, Something really strange happened to me and my husband this week, and if you're on my Facebook, you already know this, so just ignore this part. Um, his truck was stolen out of our driveway while we were sleeping. We woke up Monday morning to no truck. Um, so the beginning of my week was really crazy. Um, shout out to the goddess for um, making sure we got the truck back. I am very thankful and, and um, to her for that. I totally believe that um, she blessed us in that way. Um, it was recovered one county over. Uh, a guy was found. He wasn't found driving the truck, so he couldn't be charged for stealing the, the truck. He was charged with possession of a stolen vehicle and possession of meth. So, yeah. And we had to pay an astronomical amount of money to get the truck back because we had to pay the towing fees, but we'll probably get that back um, through victim's advocacy. There um, should be some restitution payments or something eventually. So anyway, oh, Monday, while all this was going on, I got love mail, and it couldn't have come at a better time. And usually I save it to open on video, or I've started doing that recently, but, um, I really needed to open it, guys. I needed to pick me up. So forgive me and forgive me, um, Dana. Um, it was from Dana, um, Danny's Dragonfly. And it was this little, um, I think it was a shoebox. A shoebox full of goodies and this beautiful tissue paper, which I will probably use in my art. I love using tissue paper and art. Um, she sent some beautiful incense. It has smelled... I haven't even opened it, and you can smell it through the package. Um, this will definitely be something that I save for ritual or special occasions, for sure. Um, she sent Palo Santo, Nag Champa, and you can see the resin on the sticks. And I have never had anything like this. I'm kind of cheap. <laughs> I've looked at, like, um, some of the resin sticks and I'm like uh I don't know I've got herbs you know I could probably make it and I talk myself out of um buying anything like this so this is a special treat to me the other one is Maya Kapal white sage palo santo myrrh frankincense so is it oh my gosh yeah it's heavenly um this is this one so thank you Dana for that and she had all this, this I want to show you, she packages things so beautiful. Look at all this in the bottom. And I will, I will save that too. I will, I will upcycle. And she sent these bath marbles, peony. Um, they're little bath bombs. And I was so good. I haven't used any, I wouldn't let myself use anything until I did the thank you video. And it was, it was hard. Um, she sent this beautiful little black silk bag. Um, with two gorgeous crystals. Here, let me open this one. And Dana, I keep the crystals that you sent me all together in a, and this has something growing in the middle of it. It is, it is beautiful. Um, I keep, can y'all see it? It's got something, I don't know if that's a mineral deposit or like a baby crystal growing on the inside. But it is gorgeous. Anyway, I keep um, all the crystals you send me, Dana, in a special place so I don't get them confused with um, crystals that I've found. And I'm just um, very thankful for them. This is so beautiful. She sent this one. And to me, that looks a little like smoky quartz. I could be wrong. It happens from time to time. Um, yeah, it's just beautiful absolutely gorgeous and um this one this one i feel i feel a connection to already um i have to work on getting to know the 
the little one, but, I, but I'm curious, um, I'm curious, Dana, tell me what you know about this little one, because I, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure what that is growing on the inside. Um, she also sent a beautiful Himalayan salt um, candle holder, and I do not have one of these. I have um, two of the Himalayan salt lamps, or do I have one of these? I have a small one. Um, um, hold on, I'm thinking to make sure that's true. I get confused. With, with my rocks. I'm a hoarder when it comes to crystals and um, new age stuff. I think I have a small one, but I don't have any, any, uh, one this fat and chunky, and it is beautiful. Um, and I will probably set it like right in front of one of my lamps. It's just going to be gorgeous. Thank you so very much. And she also said, oh, it took all the restraint I had not to burn this candle, guys. It smells just like honey. Absolutely just like honey. But um, I will probably um, save this for my Isis altar because I leave honey for the goddess Isis on her altar. So I will probably um, burn that on her altar. And I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, she said, I don't have it. It's, it's on the coffee table. Um, she sent a little um, cone incense, which I think that she, did you make it, Dana? I, I'm not sure, but it looks handmade which it smells really good. And this little um, foil with these little black chunks, is that incense? I don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> I don't, I have no idea, but I thank you for it. If you could tell me what it is and how to use it, that would be great. Um, thank you so very much for the pick me up. I really needed it Monday. Um, it was just a very sweet surprise to a very, very crazy day. Um, okay guys, I'm gonna do a few things around the house and I will be back um, momentarily. My dog's kind of whimpering back there. I don't know if y'all can hear her. And I'll be back because I want to um, show y'all what I'm reading. And I want to talk to you about a new tarot deck. Okay, bye. Hey, everybody. I'm back. So I did, I had the pleasure of doing a swap with a very sweet um, young lady. And she sent me the Tarot Apocalypsis. And let me tell you, it, I, I don't own anything like this. Um, I, it, it's just, it's a very interesting deck and I really think I'm gonna enjoy working with it. Um, it is by, well, here, let me show you the box. It's by Eric C. Dunn and Kim Hudgens. And it's a very sturdy box and it's um, by Los Scarbio, is that how you pronounce that? Or I'm not sure. Um, yeah, the box is, is really sturdy. And you get this amazing, thick guidebook with um, color images. So, I mean, it's just unreal. I mean, look at that. Look at Judgment. Um, yeah, I, I am... I'm feeling feeling blessed, guys. This is um, a really beautiful deck. I will show it to you. It's, it's interesting. It's sort of unusual. Um, it's different than anything that I have. Um, I haven't... I just smudged it the other day. I haven't actually used it yet. Um, I'm just now taking a peek at it, and I will tell you all why. Um, Jessica spoiled me so much, and I thought we were just doing a very small swap. And I just feel like roadkill because I don't feel like I sent her enough. Um, but that's okay. I am sending her another package. Um, I went I went shopping for her the other day. And Jessica, if you're watching, um, it's not that I feel obligated to. I just, I was really touched by your sweetness and your generosity. And I wanted to, I mean, you sent some really special things. And I want to send you some really special things. Um, so you have a surprise coming. Um, but so I'm just, I wouldn't let myself really, really look at this deck until, <laughs> until I had some things for her ready to, ready to go. Um, so I'm just going to thumb through it. Well, let me show you the backs. This is what the back looks like. I'm just going to thumb through and show you the really cool ones. Um, this is the wheel. They're very colorful. 
let's see, um, Queen of Cups, oh, there's a glare, let's see, Queen of Pentacles, The Hanged Man, now this is cool, this is the Lovers, and you notice it shows an interracial couple, I think that's pretty cool, I think, and there, there are people of color all throughout this deck, and um, I think that's nice, because you know, we don't live in an all-white world. Um, I, I think that's very cool. Um, oh, look at this. Look at Justice. And I wonder if this is supposed to be Mott. Okay, let's see. Um, Death. I'm not going to show you all of them. Just a couple more so you get an, an idea of a feel for the deck in case you're interested in purchasing it. Oh, this is pretty. Princess of Wands. Okay, all right, let me find one more. But I'm going to work with this. Oh, um, oh, yeah. Okay, the High Priestess. But yeah, I'm going to work with this this afternoon just to make sure I'm not missing any, any extraordinary. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, what, just one more. <laughs> the Hermit. So yeah, this is, so thank you very much, Jessica. Um, I've got a feeling I'm going to really enjoy working with this deck. And I had never heard of it before. Um... She, like, showed me a couple of possible decks that she was interested in trading, and I just thought that this one looked interesting, but, um, I, you know, I hadn't seen any images before. So, I also wanted to share with y'all really quickly what I'm reading. Oh, didn't mean to shake y'all, sorry. Um, I watched um, Storytelling Tea and Tarot's channel. Um, she did a wonderful series on dreaming, on um, remembering your dreams, and lucid dreaming, and all sorts of stuff on dreams. And she recommended, and I think it was in like the getting started video or in the introduction video. I will link it below. She recommended this book. It is called The Dream Oracle, and it is by Pamela Ball, and it is ridiculously cheap on Amazon. Um... And it's just an awesome book. It kind of um, interweaves um, tarot and dreams. Um, see, it goes through the major arcana. I'm only, I'm, I'm right here. Oh, it doesn't have a page number. But um, has like dream management, harnessing changes in our consciousness, daydreaming, creative visualization, meditation, dream manipulation. Um, all sorts of stuff. It's a very interesting book, and I think it's um, it's an easy read. It's not dry. I, I get bored, like, especially when I'm reading like history books, and they're really dry. <laughs> and I understand that, um, you know, sometimes I don't know. I it just I don't like dry books, but. Yeah, so I'm really enjoying this book. I'm, I'm going to finish it soon. It's, it's, not, it's an easy read, like I said. Um, let me read you the back. It says, The Dream Oracle offers insights into the archetypal images that appear in our dreams. A thematic dictionary of imagery, including settings and scenery, characters and participants, interactions, emotions, and objects. And tools to explore dream images and dream interpretation and relating information to our dream experiences. And it goes on more, but I, I won't read y'all all of that. But, um, yeah, so that's what I'm reading. What are y'all reading? I would love to know. Leave me a comment below. I'm always on the hunt for new books. 
Um, all right, I'm going to go grab um, the stuff I got at the thrift store. Let's see, I'm at seven minutes. I think the other video was at maybe five minutes. So I think I'm still good. I think I have time to do a um, to do a thrift store haul without it being too long. All right, guys, be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I got to go to the thrift store the other day, and I, I didn't find a whole lot. I found a few witchy items, and I just thought I'd share them. I know I always love, love, love seeing other people's um, thrift store hauls. So um, I got this really cool, I don't even know what it is. It's a jar with a handle, <laughs> and it says genuine, genuinely crafted and original, and the reason I bought this, although, I mean, you could use it for a couple of different things. Um, I bought it because it was purple and because I need a container to put pins in in my building. <laughs> although, it would look cute with flowers in it, too. But, um, that's what I'm going to use that for. Um, it just caught my eye and it was only $1.49. Now, probably the, my most favorite thing that I found, I'll go ahead and show it to you, is this beautiful vase. With the moon on that side and the sun on that side. Isn't that gorgeous? And I thought I would, baby, get down, please. I thought I would put some tree branches in the top of it. And I just thought it would be pretty. And I paid $2.99 for this. I have no idea where I'm going to put it, but I thought it was pretty. Um, I also found this very cool, like, and I hope it doesn't turn my skin green because... A lot of times, even some sterling silver will do it. I just, I never know what jewelry is going to make my skin turn. Um, this very cool kind of uh, gypsy boho necklace, and um, it jingles. I like it because it jingles. No, it's not a toy, Dexter. Um, This was cute, and like I really need another coffee mug, but I couldn't leave it there. I tried to, like, walked away from it and went around the store, and then someone was standing near it, and I got nervous because I thought they were going to get it. Um, it says, Best Witches for a Happy Halloween, and it was 49 cents, and it's just, it's just cute, and you know, I may put, I, I don't know, I may not even use it for coffee. I, I may put something in that. What's in the back? Oh. Just a receipt. Um, I found this beautiful red scarf, which I'm going to use for an altar cloth to go over the black one that I have because you know it won't cover. Oh, wait a minute, sees. <coughs> Bless me. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I think that's the first time I've ever sneezed on camera. I guess there's a first time for everything. Okay, so I'm going to put this over, I've got a black altar cloth on um, the Morgan's altar, and it's got the tassels, and I thought I would put this over like the middle of it, and I thought it would be pretty, because to me, the Morgan's colors are black, red, and white. Um, I try to work within those colors. All right. And I don't remember how much this, the scarf was, but it wasn't a lot. Um, I found some crafting goodies. I found these really cool, hold on, it's hung. It's really cool, I wouldn't call it yarn, but it's like fibers. See? And um, I found some more crafting goodies. I found blue and purple so and they were all two of them were 79 cents and I don't I don't know what the big round one was um I found lots of these little tiny scarves but I'm just going to show you one because the other ones are kind of you know they're just I just bought them to wrap my um tarot and oracle decks up in but this one is really cool so I'm going to show you this one it has like a Celtic let's see can you see like a Celtic design. And on the bottom it says inspired by the book of Kells, which may or may not have a Christian theme. I don't know. Um, I'm not I've heard of the Book of Kells before, 
but I just thought it was pretty. I mean, I don't, I just thought it was gorgeous. So I'm going to wrap one of my ducks up in that. Um, maybe I'll research the Book of Kells today if I have time. I don't know. Um, I found some candles for $2.74. There's nine. They smell really good. $2.74 is a little high for candles, but at the thrift store, but they smell really good, so I, I went ahead and did that. Um, let's see, what is this? Waterfall Mist. I got two green. They were $1.29 each. I got this really cool um, brown or it's almost like a wine color jar. That's just for herbs and it was $1.29. And last but not least, um, I got this little stand. And I bought this. Uh, it's ugly right now. I know. I'm going to spray paint it. Um, it was only 99 cents, and I just thought it would be cute to put, um, you know, some of my larger Oracle cards on when I draw them. Um, I have a couple of card holders, but I don't know. I thought I would just do this in a pretty color, spray paint it purple or pink or something, and put my larger Oracle cards on it. So that concludes the thrift store haul. I know, not, not a lot of stuff, but um, I don't know. I think I did okay. Well, um, let's see, today is Friday. I will probably have this video up maybe tomorrow or Sunday. So the weekend is coming. I have to, I have loads of stuff to do. We are trying to get a rental house ready to sell and there's tons of painting and just work. So I hope y'all are gonna have a really fun weekend. I'm not, <laughs> I'm gonna be working all weekend. Um, but yeah, tell me about your weekend plans if you feel like it in the comments below. And um, I wish you much love and many blessings. Bye.